It hurts me to see this happening. It hurts my soul to see this happening. And I just can't put up with it anymore. I want to do something about it. Every single person in that house is, is someone with mental health and or addiction issues. The people who live in rooming houses are forced to live in rooming houses, have very little control of their lives, partly because, mainly because of their their personal situation. They're, they're often they're disabled, they're old, they're poor, extremely poor. Why is it that 29 people who are mostly, for the most part, incapable of helping themselves have to be forced to live in these type of conditions and, and be exploited by these type of landlords? For $900 a month, people are living in double rooms two to a room. They're being ex exploited and taken advantage of. Whenever anything does break or fall into disrepair, they always, always, always blame the people that are living there. When the real truth is that it's just old and falling apart. Whenever a bathroom breaks down, they don't fix it. They don't turn on the air conditioner anymore and they told everyone in the house, don't you dare turn on this air conditioner. There's no security. The front door for weeks at a time uh, was unlockable. The fire escape on the side, the second floor door, is unlockable. People can walk in at any time. There was only two working showers in the entire house. 29 people, two working showers. The thing is that I know what my rights are and I'm able to um, articulate myself, but 90% of the people in there are not, are not capable of that because of whatever their condition is or because they have, they're on medication or whatever the reasons might be. They're already scared as psychiatric survivors. They've seen hell and they're trying to recover. It's not easy for people in rooming houses to fight back. And most of them don't even know what their rights are. And even if they do know what their rights are, they're afraid because the, the manager there yells and screams at them and promises them punishment if they complain. The punishment being, we will kick you out. They're, they're my friends. I've been living there for two and a half years and I have a, a good connection with every single person that, that lives there. So I've only lived here three weeks, and they're treating me like rubbish already. Ricky's come up to my room about three days ago, called me a filthy fucking pig, said I had no respect for anybody. And the they, situation is they wouldn't feed me today because they said my room was a mess. My room's not a mess. It just has a couple of dirty pairs of pants in the laundry basket because the washing machine's broken. Is that my fault? I'm paying $900 a month, and they're not feeding me. And the $900 a month is supposed to be and for For what? room and board. Room and, board. and housekeeping services. And housekeeping, yeah. And she refuses to come in the room now. I just don't. I just don't feel wanted here. Like, I promise you, and I promise everybody in this house, I'm gonna keep coming back to visit, and I'm gonna help you guys out. All right, buddy. Thanks very much for being here, and thanks very much for, for sharing, for sharing with us today. Mm -hmm. I love you, brother. Why, in a country as rich as this, do we allow this to continue? I don't see why some type of action, legal action, cannot be put forward. It's a horrible thing, it can't go on any longer. Just can't. So we're gonna go in and talk to the management and staff and uh, see what they have to say. Ricky, good morning, how are you? There have been some complaints about how the, the um, people who live here aren't treated well. What's your, what's your response to that? Maybe we can do that on our uh, appointment. Well, this is the appointment. No, tomorrow is our appointment. It's today. No, Wednesday, 10 o'clock. Remember? Well, I said today. No, I said to, to, today is not good. Wednesday would be good. I'm so busy right now. Whatever questions you have, I'll answer it tomorrow. But right now, I'm really so busy. But there are some people who feel afraid and intimidated by you. I don't know. You don't agree? No. Why? Because I have, I have uh, 30 tenants in the house. There's only one or two who complains about that. What are the problems you have on your end? Right now, I'm so busy, you're taking my time, okay? Tomorrow is our appointment. Okay?
he got on the defensive immediately and very quick on his feet said the appointment was for 10 a.m. tomorrow when we know that the appointment was for 9.15 a.m. today. Hello? Hello, Hello I'm looking for Ricky. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. Thank you so much. He's gone? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Is there the, a... Door, the office is closed, so he's gone. Okay, so he's... Could he be, could he be somewhere else? Hello? Hello? Hello, we're looking for Ricky. Any idea where he might be? Is Ricky here? Kitchen. No, we just came to the kitchen. He wasn't there. When he said one or two people complain, there's 30 people living in a house and one or two people complain, well, that's an outright lie. If you come over here during the daytime and spend some time on the patio talking to all of the people living in the house one by one, you'll find out that there's lots of complaints. The kitchen doors open from 8 until 9, then they close it. When Habitat was here, that door was never shut, but now they're closing that door and the one down the bottom here. We can't get in to get coffee, water or an apple or a sandwich. Even when it was hot, those days we had hot, they had cold water, they locked the door, we couldn't even get in to get a glass of water. That's how bad it is. It's the same with the homeless. I mean, there's no need for homelessness, but there's homelessness because nobody cares. And I mean, the people who are on the street are the same people who live in rooming houses. There's, they move back and forth. So there's, there's no political will at all. In, in helping them, I'm helping myself. It gives me a purpose in life and makes me feel like I'm doing something useful instead of how I used to be at one time in my life. When I saw your website and everything, I thought, wow, I gotta call these people up and ask them if they can come and help me and help my peers over there in some way, somehow. Mm -hmm.